All right. All right. Well, I can handle commentary on my own for the time being. Don't forget your hat. All right. It is. Commentary is very fun. All right, guys. So here we go. So we are doing um, a round, a water, one of quarterfinals match. Um, this is Apple Boone versus D Curb. Pikachu Libre versus. Actually, I'm not sure who D Curb is using. I think he's using Gardevoir. He is using Gardevoir. All right, here we go. Um, the Apple Boom, this man has had a very, the best performance I've seen here so far, or I've seen in Pokin. Um, like I said earlier, I'm going to say it again for this matchup for the YouTube video. Uh, Apple Boom is the man that is finding the frame data for every single character in this game. So obviously, he has some knowledge that a lot of people may not have absorbed yet. Um, what is it? So the Apple Boom, he just perfect. Wait a minute. How long was that match? 14 seconds. Okay. All right. <laughs> that <laughs> that game <laughs> flew by. Like I said, though, um, so I mean, if he is using Pikachu Libre, then um, then he's definitely had a has an idea of why he chose his character. Like I said, the frame data this man has at his expo at his disposal is a one. So right now on commentary, I'm being joined by um, Meza, a hello, shout out YouTube main here in Philly. Hey guys! Oh my God, this is so cheap. Yeah, this character's cheap. I don't want to see a double, du another <laughs> double perfect. Please don't let me see another double perfect. Wow, uh, kind of popping a little earlier for Gardevoir. I'm oh, there! All right, all right. I'm just happy it's not a double perfect. Don't, don't super in front of him. Don't. Okay, he, he, that's fine. Is it, if he gets him? No. Okay. He he used the um the float option of Gardevoir, which is pretty much pushing yeah. your guard in the air. Oh, caught him out of the burst activation. And that's going to be it. That and, was a critical. What Does that count as a critical hit when you cut someone out of the burst animation? I, I would want to say it is because this is a lot of damage usually. I, it's I not wanna little. I want to assume it is, but I missed the yeah, corner screen, so I didn't see it. I will say this, though. I've watched him play Pikachu day one, and now him switching to Pika. P our, our Pika. Yeah. I, I like I'm to say, shocked. I, I like to say Pika Bray. Pika, Pika Bray and Pika Pika Pikachu. Works. I'm just sh I'm shocked because I thought Pikachu was the more dominant one, but it seems like he has a lot more pressure. I feel like this game, as 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 many fighting games tend to orient towards, um, speed pressure. characters are going to be yeah have high pressure because at the end of the day, even if your damage your pure damage output isn't enough, so long as you're stopping your opponent from attacking you, yeah, that that's more than enough in a fighting game. Wow, that focus, that that comes uh, wait, 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 this is double critical hit. What is a double critical hit? Wait a minute, no. Why a double critical hit? You can't have double critical hit somebody. But, but it, it's Pikachu. Oh it my god. To. Okay, this is. This is almost a miss. I, I, this is almost a mismatch. I don't. I, I think this is just really, really bad for Gardevoir. It, it's no, but but, it, but again, like Apple Boom has frame data in his mind. He understands uh, it. So so maybe he maybe because of that, Alex isn't playing strictly straight to the the normal frame data that he would think. I yeah, mean, that, like you know, most people have been seeing what he's been putting out there. So maybe he's just playing a little bit differently now. All right. Who? Oh, there we go. The, wow. the psychic attack actually bursting in, in Pikachu Libre's face, and D Curve takes the first game in the second set. Looking like he finally adjusted, which oh. is why we do best two out of three. Yes. It's just because you lost the first one doesn't mean you can't take the knowledge you got from that first set or first game, however you want to apply it, and you know take it to the next set. He definitely needs to use that round to build his confidence. But here comes Apple Boom, looking yeah. so strong again, with blowing up these. Focus. That's insane. Wild charge in the stunner. The wild it's charge so counter from Pikachu damage. Libre is arguably one of the most annoying moves at, Pik at um, Pika Bray's disposal. I feel like D-Curb isn't playing enough keep away. He's kind of like trying to get away, but then he's he finds himself fighting. Whoa, wait, tower. I think he caught him. No, he didn't. Okay, I thought he caught him out of the burst, um, out of the burst from Apple Boom. You're gonna be, care be careful. Please be careful. Oh my oh god. Oh my god. He's, wait a minute. This no, is a double Apple activation. Apple Boom. Apple Boom. Because he's he second. Okay. Oh, he can't. He can't. He still he gets the crap. Nothing. We're back to neutral. It's okay. <laughs> that was insane. I mean, but it's in filled face, and I feel like it's in favor of Apple Boom in that situation. Just because uh, uh, Pika Libre has so many options to get in. Yes. So many options. And, and, and being a speed-oriented character, I feel like the only way D-Curb and God of War is going to really hold her own or hold their own is going to be... Uh, was it by say, by using all the area options that Gardevoir has? Use Kalmon in the teleport into the the magical leaf and dual yep. phase and field phase as well. Use the um the magic. I'm sorry, the psychic. Use 
the I like that he's keeping that. spacing. Dazzling though. gleam. He's spacing very properly to just make sure, but it doesn't matter. Apple Boom's back in with the stunner, and then he shifts it to field face, and he's just going to pressure him. Uh, wow. And everybody's getting hit by this. Everybody's getting hit by the grab and not expecting it in field face because it's not something you would think you would want to do. The Electro Web. All right, ha having to activate his burst, he got HP back from that and pretty much put it on the even face. Got him against the wall. Wasn't able to capitalize that much. Goes to the Sylveon. I, Whoa, okay. I that Sylveon. Really, yeah, I don't really was like necessary. the setup. I think he should have just backed off and, and fought and out of the field face. I would have waited a little bit more. Future Sight going I think that's Future Sight, right? Wow, he's just going in. Why? He, I mean, he could have just chipped him. It's not like he loses health from throwing anything out. Maybe it's just unorthodox. Uh, like, wait, wait. Did, did he pop burst? Yes, he did. All right, burst attack. Is he going to be oh, able to block gonna, it? He's going to. He's going to. Oh, yeah. Block was okay. already held. This is dangerous. Oh, that's, that's a punish. And that is D-Curve's game. That, that is his game, I think. Oh, no. No, no Sylveon. Sylveon has the defense up. So, 90? 90? Okay, Holy close, close to it. That, that didn't that do defense much. Did a lot. Well, remember, it, it probably scaled off of the, the earlier attack plus True. the defense. So. True. Sylveon applying the pressure that he needed. Going for the overhead. Um, oh. I, I assume that's wild charge as well, but D-Curve. Just getting too face. old. I, I felt like he was just too much in Apple Boom's face. Yeah. And he needed to be a little bit more off. Give Apple Boom a reason to come in and then pressure him with your with any of your normals, any of your, your close range attacks. And I felt like D Curb kind of lost himself in